Okay, so uh, it's over. Well, at least the lecture's over. This is the, uh, the party, the, the rap party or something like that, I think they call it. And everyone behind me has been involved in some way or other, either directly involved in you know, handing things to me on stage or you know, making, making the lectures work you know, in, the, in the rooms by cutting it together, editing it together. I'm really exhausted. And already a slightly a sense of, uh, not anticlimax, but it, I kind of, no, I, I was kind of getting into it, but I, I think my body would have given up. I think my mind is really enjoying it, but I think there's not really a lot, you know, more gas left in the engine. This, this car is kind of running down. The third one, to be perfectly honest, had technical difficulties that uh, were all to do with auditory, because we have this amazing robot, which works, works with the wireless technology that I was picking up in my earpiece. And the engineer said to me, well, if that happens again, because it was start, we realized this was a problem. He said, oh, just take your earpiece out. And um, so I, I was thinking whilst I was talking, shall I take the earpiece out? and then lose connection with the director. And I, it, was, it was like being forced into a Sophie's Choice, which thing do you want to give up the most? And um, the truth of the matter is, I felt I really needed to hear David's voice, the director. Um, so I, I went with it. And it was hard, but I think, I think we got it together. And actually, we did a, a, a retake of one of the sections, and I took the piece out, and it went wonderfully smooth. So I suppose the one thing that I was um, particularly proud to show is that I really think I've demonstrated quite categorically that you are your brain and that if I can manipulate your brain then I can change what you experience and that is a profound insight that even a lot of scientists and a lot of very clever people don't like to be confronted with because it does change the way that we think about ourselves if we realize that we're actually just very sophisticated machines. Now we interact with a lot of other machines, these brains of ours but we must remember that we've evolved as a very complex, integrated species, which need each other. So as a developmental psychologist, that's my big kind of contribution, I hope, for the Royal Institution Christmas Lectures.